There was only ever one time I witnessed Aidan Mitchell not behaving like a complete delinquent. And it was only momentary. If he bothered to show up to class, he was often the very last one. But he was certainly the very first one out the door once the bell rang. But on this occasion, he hung back. I was bracing myself a, a bit of trouble and politely tried to usher him out. But he started asking me about coding. Coding! <laughs> he was such an obnoxious little shit. I thought he wanted to know how to start a virus. <laughs> Very sheepishly, he pulled this very tatty notebook out of his bag and opened it up. And it was just packed full of drawings and designs for a computer game that he wanted to make. Oh, he went into great detail explaining it all to me as I looked through the book. The drawings were incredibly childish. The idea was on the one hand insanely generic, but also made virtually no sense. But what really stood out was how horrendously misogynistic and disturbingly offensive it all was. But putting all that to one side, I was absolutely amazed by how much work and effort he'd put into it. He was almost oozing with ambition. He was so enthusiastic about it, <laughs> if only he'd been so enthusiastic in class. I mean, I know I was his uh, computer science teacher, but I wasn't sure why he'd opened up and confided his idea in me. <laughs> then he started asking me about studying game design and coding at university. <laughs> I, his grades in my class were appalling, so I had no reason to believe that they would be any different in any other class. And just the thought of someone as imbecilic and uncouth as, as Aidan Mitchell at university. <laughs> Someone with you know, zero aptitude to, uh, to succeed in, in such an environment. <sighs> it made me burst out laughing. It was completely involuntary. I tried to you know, compose myself. But no one likes to be laughed at. Not even belligerent bullies like you know, Aidan Mitchell. Oh, I barely mustered some sincere words of uh, encouragement as I tried to wipe the smirk off my face. But he was already shoving his notebook back into his bag. He slammed into me on the way out the class. Called me a fag. <laughs> said he would... Um, fuck me up if he ever saw me on the streets and knocked a monitor onto the floor as he went out the door. The following day, the whole computer lab was infected with a virus. Little bastard. I don't think it was too long after that that his name was being thrown around in relation to the death of another pupil. My ex-wife once asked me if I thought things between him and that girl would have turned out differently if instead of um, laughing in his face I'd actually encouraged him to 
pursue his idea? She was such a bitch. But no. No, I don't. I'm sure I could have found him some resources that he could have used to build up the skills he wanted. But there are plenty of genuinely good kids, eager to learn, who are deserving of such tension and time and don't get it. And she hadn't seen the inside of that notebook. depriving the world of whatever the hell was going on in that boy's head is probably the best thing I've ever done.